morning trendsetters I'm coming to you from Campfire Ranch just outside of Gunnison Colorado day two of our cycling adventures are going to kick off a little bit later but first it's breakfast time that's the head cheese so to speak that's Eric he's running the show he's a good bloke and that be hey. Laura Laura's a fellow writer fellow journalist and she resides in New England somewhere she flew a long way to get here anyway we're gonna have a really great ride today Get a little spread here, isn't that nice? Coffee, mm. very important. Indeed. And admire that tent, a heated tent. Have you ever seen anything like that before? This tent is manufactured by a Skyliner out of Salt Lake, Utah. Let's poke around inside. I'm going to eat breakfast in here. Oh my God, it is so warm in here, it's amazing. It's about 39 degrees at the moment. Lovely. That's true. Yeah. So is that, that is a wood, isn't it? Yeah. That's a real fire. Um, Trendsetters are on the way to our next ride start. Here we are, look at this. Eric's got eight bikes on one car. That's pretty impressive, mate. It is. It's the Velocirax. These are Revel Rovers, a Velocirax, and on top, the Trek Dumane review bike. Here we are on the outskirts of Sargent, Colorado. About to knock out of 40 something miles. Alright, eh, trendsetters, we're off and riding. Look at this view, will you? Alright, here we are. Riding along merrily. Folks, our favorite sign in the world. Pavement to gravel. This is ridiculous, you know, like what makes Gunnison Gravel so unique? I mean, it's like a list of a thousand things. But right now we're in an amazing area on an amazing road. I couldn't have said that better myself. Rock roll, serious climb, about to start, 4Ks. Yeah. 1.3 kilometers to the top. Whew. And here we are at the summit. Absolutely beautiful climb. Let's film the photographer. That's Emma. Hi, Emma. Hi. Laura, how was your climbing experience? Oh, it was beautiful. I breathed really hard because we're at altitude and I loved it. It made me feel like I'm in a cloud. <laughs> we are in the clouds. <laughs> I have a knee injury, so the flat pedals, I always feel safer. I don't know if that's true or not, but Mate, that's whatever what works is Haley. She's no. sort of acclimatized. It's nice and bolder. How did you enjoy that climb? Oh, it was gorgeous. Sure, you got well, it's like by my it. mouth, but yeah, beautiful. Aspens are just starting to turn. No, anything to say about that climb? <laughs> it was perfect. 
So there you go, folks. We're at the top of Black Sage Pass, elevation 9,745 feet. And I reside at about 153 feet. What could possibly go wrong? All right, we're about to go down the mountain here. This trek to Mane is absolutely unbelievable on the descents. Rock and ship is the word. That's Emma. She's the photographer extraordinaire. Emma, what is that peak right in front of the camera, please? Um, that is Tamiki Dome, and I believe it's a, called a Lacolith. Okay. Um, so it's a bunch, it was like a volcano that never erupted. There's a whole line of them going across the valley all the way up to Crested Butte, which is also a Lacolith. So. Yep. And here's a good look at the steed. Now these bottle cages aren't the best. These are older German made bottle cages that don't hold bottles too well. But that point aside, yeah. as I mentioned earlier, this bike is a bloody rocket ship on the gravel descent. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Good mate, that's Ron from Bike Rumor. He's their lifestyle editor. Hello! Hello! pavement for a little while, rolling into a town, I think it's Pipkin, if I have that wrong I'll overlay a correction. Even though I'm riding pavement at this very moment, there isn't a bad view to be seen anywhere. Welcome folks to the bustling metropolis of Ohio City, 8,600 feet above sea level. Unfortunately, that establishment is out of business. It's a pretty quiet little town. 
There's the Ohio City Hall. The outskirts of Pitkin, Colorado. There we go. Welcome to Pitkin, Colorado. We're at 9,241 feet, Eric. I believe this was once the Pitkin Hotel. Oh, here is the City Hall. Welcome folks to City Hall, built in 1900. That was once the Pitkin Bank. Oh, get this trendsetters. We found the post office here for Pitkin, Colorado. There it is. Pitkin Volunteer Fire Department. Alrighty, here's the Pitkin General Store. Well, that about wraps it up for today's video here in Pitkin, Colorado. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. Always with me for ride right experience videos such as this one. No bull gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, and general madness as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.